Hello and welcome. Today we are in the new tier 10 American battleship, the Wisconsin. This ship is an absolute joy to play. If you can get it, I think you should. It's just, it's an excellent ship. It's basically an Iowa at tier 10, except that she has a special ability that's reminiscent of the uh, tier 11 battleships, where if you hit the enemy ships, uh, you build up a little meter that when filled up you can use to then give yourself a 50% reload booster. But on top of that it also reduces the uh, cooldown time of your consumables by 80%. Essentially it brings up damage control party, heal, etc. whatever is on cooldown very very quickly. And when you combine these things it becomes a pretty damn fun ship to play I find. Especially because, you know, as an American battleship, you can get your uh, dispersion upgrade and all of these things, which means that your gunfire is decently good. It also is better than Iowa in one other pretty important way, which is that her citadel sits lower in the water. So you're actually even less likely to get citadel compared to the Iowa. Now, long range citadels are still going to happen. Uh, just because, well, when the shells arc downwards, they're gonna hit your citadel eventually. But overall, this ship is just great. Now, this does come with some downsides. You do have only 81,000 HP at tier 10. I mean, compare this. Like, if you, if the enemy team had <laughs> four Kremlins and you have four Wisconsins, you're, what, 27,000 HP down per ship, right? They basically have an extra battleship worth of HP. So there are downsides to the ship, but I find that it's really, really fun to play. I don't know, the ship just agrees with me very well. So the ability fills up by 6% every time you land a shell on a target. Hitting close enough, um, like some of the tier 11 ships, doesn't work. It has to actually hit the target. So this means that you might want to fire at uh, bigger ships. One of the interesting things with uh, playing this ship is that it's important to know when to use this ability. Like right now, I didn't use it to just lob random shells at the battleships. I used it to be able to punish this cruiser because it's, well, a reload booster, right? Now, I'm probably not going to be able to do that too well because they're just really far away. But hey, I tried my best, okay? And besides, the second shot, if it's timed uh, properly, which when you just fire it will be, will actually fill up your meter a little bit. I mean, we landed, what, five, six shells? So we got 36% of our meter filled up. We do two more salvos like that and we get to use it again. Now, if you don't hit a target for a while, the meter will start uh, ticking down again, just like the tier 11 ship. So that's something to consider. This actually makes it an interesting choice when it comes to target selection. Like right now, trying to hit the destroyer would actually be a bit not the greatest idea because if I miss, I might end up in a situation where my meter starts ticking down, right? But obviously, sometimes you do need to fire at destroyers. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be great. Torpedoes, get ahead. Okay, I'm gonna probably get hit, but it'll be fine. Come on, we can punish the Preussen. She's turning away, but surely we can do it. Oh, yes, we managed to avoid the island. Okay, we can go forward now. So these are the captain skills and upgrades that I used in this match, but I don't use this build anymore. I did experiment with uh, dropping the artillery plotting platform, the one that reduces the dispersion on American battleships, and instead replace it with the reload upgrade. I figured that it would synergize well with the uh, ability that the Wisconsin has. You know, you get to fire more shells, it means the meter fills up faster, you're less likely to be in a situation where the meter starts ticking down as well. But I found that I prefer the dispersion one. I, I seem to just land quite a few more shells with it. But I did decide to change my captain skill build, and I focused on super heavy AP shells. It improves main battery AP damage by 7.5%, but it has a downside. 
uh, fires and floods last for 25% longer. But the special ability of the Wisconsin should help with that. On top of that, super heavy AP shells also make fires and the floods deal a little bit less damage per second. So in a way, maybe in some situations it would actually be better against fire and floods. I also think that the improved repair party readiness works very well for this ship. When you hit 2 million potential damage you get an extra heal which is pretty easy to use on the Wisconsin and on top of that you get to have faster heal recharges. Both of these are very good things and they kind of mitigate the extra fire and flooding damage you sometimes might take because of the super heavy AP shells. One thing that I do want to change out on this ship is the expert loader because I just don't use it. Instead I've been thinking of swapping it out for preventative maintenance because I have had my one of my turrets knocked out a fair few times enough that it actually really annoyed me. Anyway that's the skill build out of the way I hope it helps you although you can just play a completely normal battleship build on this ship and you'll do just fine. You'll basically be almost immune to fire and floods when you do that. Anyway, we have a Kremlin coming up here, who is most likely going to be broadside to us because, well, there's a Schlieffen there. I'm gonna just chill here, I'm gonna wait for the Kremlin to pop up, and then we're gonna citadel him. Yeah, our plan is to citadel a Kremlin. It's entirely possible because, well, she'll only be at 6 kilometers and hopefully not angled towards us. Come on. Oh, oh, this is gonna be perfect. And she's not even looking at us, so I'm just gonna chill here. What I thought is I'm gonna uh, stop here, fire and then run away, but since Kremlin isn't actually looking at me, this is perfect. Her turrets are turning, so she's gonna get a pretty significant hit on us. Okay, that was 2,900. Well, it's 16k, so we took about 18,000 total, but he's dead now. Pretty sure. Like, all we need is, like, one citadel and a few penetrations. And it's a Kremlin. It has a giant citadel when broadside on. Goodbye. And now... It's time to make ourselves scarce, because that's a full HP Shikishima. I only have half HP, and I am the closest ship to them. Okay, technically it's the Shimakaze, but they can't see the Shimakaze, right? So they'll be focusing on me most likely, or the cruiser behind me, but chances are me. Yep. Because the Shikishima can overmatch my stern and bow, what I want to be doing now is going diagonally away from her. Essentially, I want to be at an angle where she fires into my main belt and bounces off of it rather than getting a citadel on me or penetrating hits through the stern of the ship. Meanwhile, we'll be shooting at a Seetle. Because she's a light cruiser and we might... Look, look at that dispersion! Look at how tight that dispersion is! 10k! And you get those a lot more when you have your dispersion upgrades. Okay, is that... am I... is it possible to get a citadel here? Probably... oh, this is gonna hurt. Because I am not angled enough. I am not angled enough. Thank God. Okay, I'm gonna get behind the island. I think I should turn around then. To try to go a little bit closer. Oh! Friendly Schlieffen decided to show up to help. Excellent. So, now I can use the island to turn closer and we just start... I think we can just break the Shikishima down very quickly. She seems to be showing us some broadside and I mean we have a Monarch too, so we have a lot of ships here. Come on, I believe. Okay, maybe a little too much angled. Rear turret can't fire yet. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This, this, this has to be a Citadel hit. Please, 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 Citadel. Yes, please. Yes! Too bad we didn't get any other hits. That would have sunk the ship. But now we have to focus on the Preussen. The Harlem is a little closer and the squishier target, but the focus has to be the Preussen because she is broadside on. And once the Preussen angles, I can't really do much damage to her. So right now is a good 
opportunity to do that. Ah, uh, I am getting low HP. I have to angle diagonally again, because right now the secondary shells from the Preussen are hitting my 32mm bow, and they are penetrating through it, dealing significant amounts of damage. Even if the Preussen is engaging someone else. I think if Preussen had been kept firing on me, I would have died here. But thankfully, he decided to focus on the CV. Well done, Hakuryu. Well done. Goodbye, Preussen. We have a fire taking, but we'll be able to survive this. We have a heal taking at the same time, so we should be okay. On the other hand, though, the Harem is dead. In this match, we're monogamous. And now it's just the CV left. We get to sink the Malta. Hell yeah! Come on, CV, where are you? There are some shells waiting for you. Oh, 25 kilometers away. Oh no. And she's reversing into the border. She's gonna hit the border in a second. This is. We might not be able to do it. We only have a minute. The problem is essentially that tier 10 CVs have armored decks, which means that AP shells will simply ricochet off of it. Well, you also need to actually hit the target, but yeah, they'll just ricochet off. The Montana might have a shot, but the CV is clearly angling against that too, so yeah, sadly I don't, I don't think we're doing it. Not from this range. If we had maybe an extra minute, maybe, but yeah, no way. There's just no way. <laughs> too bad, too bad. Yeah, it's only 13 seconds to go because we also took the capstone. Hey, I got an over penetration. 1,030, 1,350 HP less. But uh, uh, she didn't even lose half her HP. Man, that's, that's brutal. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention that uh, the Wisconsin also has a uh, defensive anti-air. It just didn't come up this time, but it's pretty useful. We did 228k damage this game. We sadly didn't get the Sink 5 ship, so no Kraken. The Gearing was also missing one for Kraken. Well done, Mr. Gearing. 2309 base 6 I, I'm, I'm quite happy. Well, a little bit uh, bittersweet though, because we didn't get to sink the Malta, but sometimes you just can't have everything you want. It's too bad. But this is a pretty damn great game. Yeah, I, I think this is a great ship. I love it. Would you like to see more videos of the Wisconsin? Because I'd like to make some. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.